You know, I don't think I've ever mentioned it to anybody, nor have I mentioned it, I don't think, on the vlog. But I like Star Wars. Yes, I'm very new to Star Wars, but if there's one thing I have to thank, it has to be Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus has eight of the nine Star Wars films. Rogue One, yeah, Rogue One, but not Solo. It also has several Star Wars series, uh, Rebels, Clone Wars, and Resistance. And let me tell you, oh boy, I've been enjoying it. Um... And it started all the way back in November, basically when Disney Plus came out, um, that I, I vowed to myself that once Disney Plus comes out, that's when I'm going to get into Star Wars. And so I started binge watching Rebels, which now I thought, which looking back was a bit of a mistake until I got to Clone Wars. So the order that I did it, I did Rebels first. It took me three weeks to finish Rebels and then... I moved on to the to the episodes, so the movies. Um, somebody recommended me to go four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, ending with nine in the theaters, and so I did that one. Like, I did no one, two, no four, five, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's that's the way that I watched the the movies. And it, it really opened my mind in a in a way that I've never experienced before. Um, and I was getting to see the entire saga for the first time, mind you. Which means, yes, the episode, the TASG episodes where I recorded in, um, when I did uh, Galaxy's Edge, that was all me not knowing much, like a single hair about the Star Wars universe. So I barely knew about Onaka Transport Solutions. I, I didn't understand. And until I started doing this, these binge watches on Disney Plus, when Disney Plus came out, um, I would not know anything. And so that's what I did. I did all of that. And I finished eight just the day before that episode nine, Rise of Skywalker, was about to come out. So I already had known um, a lot of. So I, I I cut myself up right up to the uh, end of the series, and there's a lot of people. And I know the Star Wars community is very very divided, and I came in with like a uh, like I was a Star Wars virgin. Like I did not know anything. And so getting to see it for myself really opened my eyes to what I've missed out the last, oh, I don't know, 40 years. And my main opinion on it is that I like it. I don't love it. Specifically the prequels. I like it. I don't love it. So, but um, there are other, there are so many other aspects of Star Wars out there. And I'm only going into the screen universe of it all. You, you also have, you know, board games. You have books. And I'm not saying that I'm a bad, like, I don't want to read. I, I don't like reading. But the amount of lore about Star Wars externally from, from the silver screen and from the Disney Pluses and everything, there's a lot more than meets the eye. There's even, like, so I'm even talking about canon versus legends. And there's legends that I have never gotten into yet. And that's insane. I, I mean, you know, we're, we're going to be at home for how long? So I, I don't think I have an excuse to, I don't think I have an excuse to go into it, but I, I'm just going to say that I really, really like Star Wars. And especially with Galaxy's Edge, when I came, when I went into Galaxy's Edge um, after doing the episodes, uh, after binging the episodes, um, I had a whole new take on Galaxy's Edge. I knew what a lot of memes, I understood a lot of the TikToks, and I understood a lot of the... Uh, the references that a lot of uh, Star Wars fans like and don't like, and that was 
And it was very nice. So after the episodes, I went into Clone Wars and I went into Resistance. And I f personally, there's a lot, again, there's a lot of people who don't like uh, Resistance uh, because it feels like a too childish type thing. I enjoyed it. It had, it felt like, um, like a Gravity Falls or a, or a DuckTales type romp. It, that's what it felt like. And I appreciated it. I liked it. Um, but I really wish there, they did more. Um, they had a lot more. And it, it, it kind of saddened me when I binged it that season two didn't have much resistance. Um, AKA we didn't see a lot of Poe Dameron. We didn't see a lot of the, the resistance in action. It was basically um, the Colossus if it was like a, like friends. So that's something right there. Um, Star Wars Rebels, I really wanted to get into because I remember seeing the ads in during my, during my high school days when I'm, oh, don't judge me. Uh, when I'm watching Disney XD and I want to catch DuckTales, or not, not even DuckTales, Gravity Falls. Let's go Gravity Falls. And I'm watching that and I see those Star Wars Rebels. I totally threw that out of the door and I never really fully understood Star Wars until Disney Plus came out. So yeah, um, that's so far my thoughts on Star Wars. I really want to go in depth into the individual series, what I think about them. I also don't, but I don't want to ruffle any fingers or ruffle any feathers um, here in this one. So that's going to be it. I'm Mark Canterbury. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe for more. We got more content hitting your way soon. So long. Um.